All right, welcome back to Uptick Updates. We're up to episode 12, and it's been two weeks, uh, maybe, what, four weeks into the testnet launch, Brian? Oh, yeah, John, good to see you again. Yeah. Uh, so actually, this is the uh, fourth week of uh, testnet launch. Mm -hmm. It's uh, mm -hmm. 20, 23 days uh, since our launch on March 18th. Okay, yeah. how's everything going? Oh, yeah, so uh, the things uh, are going well, you know? Uh, by March 18th, we launched the testnet, uh, which is the starting point of uh, the whole Optic project. Uh, we, we, we call it phase two of our Optic project. Mm -hmm. So because before we have the Optic Net NFT marketplace running and, uh, and also incubating the NFT infrastructure behind it. So now we see it's the timing to move, move forward. Uh, to 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 make sure this uh, NFT infrastructure will be visible to more developers and uh, to more uh, partners, because so we we believe NFT is not just uh, only the marketplace. Uh, the NFT represents the digital assets, and the digital assets actually they will stay in their uh, ecosystem application as well. So we really want to open up this uh, NFT infrastructure to in encourage more people build their NFT applications on top of that, including our some some applications from our own team. Can you give us some numbers or tell us how everything how everything's progressing? Oh. No, no, no big hiccups, right? After three weeks of a uh, test net running, yeah. so yeah. Well, we actually. Uh, recorded pretty good numbers because uh, this also. Uh, uh, while well, indicating the community is uh, pretty happy with this uh, new move and mm -hmm. that they're uh, pretty happy to uh, participate uh, in, as uh, early birds. Uh, for example, like uh, Optic, uh, we have a testnet uh, released. The mm -hmm. testnet is built on top of a uh, Cosmos SDK plus the EVM support. Currently, uh, we recorded around uh, uh, 6,000, uh, one or 200 active wallets activated in the testnet. Yeah. At, at the same time, the total validators, two days ago, it was uh, 154. And now I think it's uh, approaching, well, it very soon will be approaching 200. Yeah, so that means a lot of people want to give a try and uh, to host the nodes uh, to express their willingness to host nodes. Yeah. At the same time, uh, so we're dis distributing the test token from the faucet. Uh, so, uh, so in three weeks, actually, totally seventy six thousand optic test token uh, has been distributed to mm -hmm. all those wallets. Yeah. So people are very uh, active uh, to participate. At the same time, you know, uh, when we release the test net. We also released a, uh, a test version of a marketplace on the EVM. For that test version of a marketplace, the basic functionality is that people can uh, mint, list, buy, and sell NFTs uh, to go through the full life cycle of an NFT. So uh, in three weeks, uh, we actually see a total marketplace users uh, is over uh, 5,300. Uh, and, and also the total NFT minted uh, in the marketplace is, uh, is around you know, 50,000, 50,000 NFTs. Mm. So actually, uh, because we have this uh, uh, Q1 uh, update released uh, two days ago. So in last two days, uh, uh, the total NFT minted in test marketplace uh, also almost doubled <laughs> in, in, in two nights. Wow. Yeah. So wow. That means uh, people are really uh, ha have their eyes on uh, the progress of Optic Network. And uh, yeah, I I'm pretty happy with that. Nice, nice. Now you mentioned the EVM. I I'm afraid that mm -hmm. some viewers might not really understand the significance of that. And you also mentioned uh, validators and people helping out with the test net. So I was wondering if you want to talk about uh, incentives at all. Okay, okay. Uh, EVM uh, is a uh, 
module we we build on top of this optic uh, network uh, optic chain mm -hmm. uh, the purpose for that is uh, we want to make sure uh, our uh, this uh, evm type of marketplace we will support all type of uh, uh, erc standard uh, nfts mm -hmm. so that's very important uh, because uh, you know the nft uh, optic uh, infrastructure is more for multiple chain support and the cross chain support we, want, we really want to support the interoperability of all kinds of NFT asset. Mm -hmm. So by building this uh, infrastructure on, on the EVM support is, uh, is, a, is a very good way to make it compatible with uh, a, lot, uh, a lot of digital assets already spread uh, in the world. Right, so on Ethereum or other places. Yeah. So later we, we will do uh, more support to support not only native uh, generated uh, NFT on Optic, but also mm -hmm. to like a global aggregation of all kind of digital assets. They can be interoperable uh, through our in infrastructure. Because as I mentioned earlier today, so it's uh, the, the NFT in my mind is not just for uh, marketplace buy and sell trading, right? So a lot of NFT, they, they have their own value uh, for specific scenarios. For example, music NFT, video NFT, ticket NFT. So each of them, it can be traded uh, in the marketplace, but they will be used in their own domain specific scenario. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, we want to build this, uh, uh, well, multiple chain supported infrastructure, uh, not only host the marketplace, but all, all, also host all kind of ecosystem applications around it. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's why we, 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 we build this uh, optic chain uh, to make it uh, compatible with uh, Cosmos ecosystem, IBC networks. At the same time, it's also possible to uh, really connect uh, or uh, compatible with all kind of EVM world uh, uh, digital assets yeah. yeah so that's our purpose uh, by doing that yeah and uh, about the incentive so uh, basically we uh, uh, there's a two type of incentive uh, people can see uh, because we are having the optic chain uh, plan and also we have the optic uh, marketplace plan so, so basically, I, I, I currently put it into three uh, major uh, items uh, for the users. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, the first one is for the testnet. Testnet, basically, we have a two major uh, module try to test out. One, uh, one, of course, the validator nodes, right? So people can host validator nodes. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, actually, be, by starting point is uh, uh, next Monday. Next Monday, we will try to count uh, because we already have some uh, nodes uh, uh, installed, connected, but then we will start to count uh, for the incentive. Uh, two factors. One is the uptime. Uh, so we want to make sure the, uh, the nodes uh, will be serious enough right, to, to support. Yeah. Uh, so uptime is a good measure uh, for usually in the mainnet, the uptime usually is over 99% something, right? Mm -hmm. So in our case, uh, because people are testing it, so we, 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 we lower the uh, standard for that. Uh, at least it will uptime will be up to 80%. So that's, that's one thing. Uh, the other thing is that to, we call it do not get jailed, mm -hmm. right? So if, uh, if there's a problem, it will put into the jailed uh, status. Uh, people will lose their status or uh, well, uh, qualification. Yeah. But for, for two of them, so we, we will divide the incentive uh, token into maybe uh, uh, a certain percentage for the uptime, a certain percentage for the do not get jailed, right? Okay. So even you, 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 you got jailed for some times, you, you lose this part of incentive, but you still can earn the uptime incentive. That, 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 that's for this validator nodes part. Mm -hmm. and, and also for, uh, because by default, the Cosmos SDK provide uh, some governance uh, uh, module uh, to support it. Mm -hmm. For example, we have, a, uh, we, we want to utilize the governance module uh, to 
maybe we, we will publish some uh, proposal for the validators, uh, for, for people, uh, delegated uh, people try to vote for that, right? So that's one thing. And also we, we will also encourage people about to, to, to raise some proposals uh, to through the validators, right? To, so this basically we will try to uh, invite people to participate uh, this kind of uh, governance. Uh, so this is also the uh, foundation to build the future governance uh, organization, mm -hmm. uh, uh, or we can say Optic DAO, right? Optic DAO. So, so basically for testnet part, we will uh, try the validator nodes and the governance uh, module, okay. uh, two parts. It's, right. it's pretty common for, for the people to try out this layer one infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. I, I just want to yeah. check with the timing there. So we're recording on Sunday, and you mean from mm -hmm. tomorrow Monday or a week later? Yeah. So uh, so so actually, we updated uh, this up uh, or median article. So we already list over there. So uh, the the counting period will be uh, starting from April eleventh. Okay. Uh, to the time uh, when we launched the mainnet. Yeah. So this this will be the time window for people to really participate. Uh, okay. In last three weeks, it's it's more like a, people are practicing, right, mm -hmm. to, to get familiar with that. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? And, uh, yeah. So that that's for the testnet part. Uh, yeah. So we have a test marketplace, right, associated with that. But uh, frankly, the the test marketplace, the purpose is not to uh, make it a commercial level of uh, marketplace uh, now. It's more like for people uh, to participate uh, the NFT practice uh, in the marketplace. And the purpose is uh, really to test out the layer one NFT uh, capability, right? Mm -hmm. At the same time, the EVM marketplace functionality. So that's uh, uh, mainly for this uh, testing purpose. So. Uh, just, just like uh, for the validator nodes, uh, actually, I would say uh, probably not everybody can participate in that. It, it does require uh, a certain level of technical background yeah. and, and even some IT background, right? So I agree. it's not just setup, you need to maintain it, make yeah. sure the network connection and everything. So, uh, so that's one part of people. Uh, the other part of people will be uh, maybe general public is for this uh, marketplace. Uh, so marketplace is supposed to serve everybody, right? So it, it should be provide the best user experience. There's no hurdle for anyone who whoever want to participate. So I think a lot of people can participate this marketplace part uh, as a tester. So uh, the major incentive for the marketplace uh, participants are three parts. Uh, so to mint NFT, to list NFT and also to buy a, a, a NFT. So those three are, are the very essential basic uh, actions, right? <laughs> to, to operations for the NFT. So, uh, and we have a first-hand market, second-hand market, wallet. Uh, so all, all the infrastructure components support it. So the user will be just, uh, uh, like using a normal marketplace, they, they create, uh, just mint NFT, they list into the market, they, they buy it, and also they can relist, uh, resell into the market, right? The secondhand market, mm -hmm. and they can transfer to somebody else uh, through the wallet address. So those uh, three basic actions is a uh, key measurement for the people who participate this uh, marketplace. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, so we, we will have a formula to calculate the earned points and, uh, and also the points will be claimable to the test uh, optic token, right? Mm -hmm. So, so that's, that, that, that's for this uh, test marketplace part. Mm. Yeah. How long and, will the testing, uh, mm, yeah. how long will the go testing ahead. go on for? Uh, the testing will be, well, uh, we will keep it on and on until we, we're ready to launch the mainnet. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, so we, uh, uh, so we really want to encourage people to 
to use it and uh, also be ready uh, for, for the mainnet launch and the main marketplace launch. So, uh, uh, so the, currently the goal is to have uh, everything ready uh, within Q, Q2. Yeah, so basically we have uh, two to three months to, 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 uh, to do that. Yep. But at the same time, actually, we are uh, also enhancing the layer one uh, functionality uh, because uh, uh, the Cosmos uh, ecosystem, by nature, it has the IBC support, right? So inter-blockchain uh, communication support. So that's a key feature we also want to utilize. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, we want to support a more Cosmos token uh, to be used uh, in in the uh, optic marketplace, mm. right? Not just an optic token or some single token. Yeah. yeah. So, so this this will be uh, on and on because we are adding a new capability into layer one, and we are also adding some new features into uh, testing marketplace. So, so we really encourage people to try it. At the same time, uh, uh, the more they use it, the, the more they get familiar with that, and they will be more ready for the major launch, right? So uh, even they can provide, uh, prepare uh, good content for the major launch. Yeah. Yeah. So that, uh, that's, uh, that's a good period for people to try to engage with Optic uh, Network. Uh, I think uh, all the people in this period will be our early birds, or, or you can say it's kind of all belongs to the Genesis block of, of this optic network, right? Initial period. Yeah. 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 The OG is uh, optic. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time, uh, so because uh, these, uh, uh, this is the starting point of phase two, but at, at the same time, and don't forget, we, we already have a well-established marketplace running right, mm -hmm. in phase one. And yep. it has been one year. So it's very stable and very, uh, uh, well, I would say currently, maybe it's one, uh, it, it, it could be the biggest market, NFT marketplace in the whole Cosmos ecosystem. Uh, because we ha have recorded uh, like uh, over, how many? 12, uh, 120,000 uh, uh, NFT uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the whole uh, optic marketplace, and 20% uh, of them are, are sold, right, or traded. Yeah. So, yeah, we have a, a lot of people participate in the past, uh, including some good creators and also a lot of uh, collectors. So, this, uh, uh, I would say, production version of a marketplace. Uh, is currently running on, on top of IrisNet, which is uh, one of the hub uh, in the Cosmos ecosystem. Mm -hmm. But they, they actually made the Cosmos, uh, uh, made the NFT module uh, for the Cosmos ecosystem. So we are the early partner and a very strategic uh, partner with them. So we will continue this. So in, uh, in the future, we, we will try to merge the marketplace together. Uh, so not only to continue on the Iris net and the IBC network, but also to cover the EVM part and connect to the EVM network. So we want to be a uh, business class infrastructure for the NFTs. So we don't want to limit ourselves to uh, any specific blockchain or whatever. So all those blockchains are our friends. Yeah. So we will build together. Yeah, it's brilliant. Has a bright future ahead of it. Yeah. So, so for 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 the current marketplace, actually, there 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 are more incentive uh uh fact uh, well uh, items over there. So uh, I guess uh, the current user already see it. So you have a we have a points system uh, in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. You can see what you have some basic points. Uh, a uh, uh, basic ways to earn points like a registration uh, account, uh, so like a profile and the social media information. Those can be the basic uh, points you can collect. At the same time, uh, you, you try to mean, we, we call it uh, the mining, right? 
uh, mint to mine uh, and the transaction to mine. Uh, so basically the mint NFT, list NFT, buy and sell NFT. That, that will be a, a major source of the points. At the same time, uh, of course, uh, the uh, because this is a production version of marketplace, we want to make sure the copyrights is well uh, is respected, right? So that's why we also add some uh, uh, actual feature like uh, people can file complaints against some uh, uh, well, uh, bad content or faked content. So uh, this is more like a be jailed, right? <laughs> Compared to the layer one, right? So <laughs> if the creator doesn't really respect the rule they agreed to, so their account or their point uh, system will be maybe be jailed or even be sus suspended. Mm. So we want to make sure the good content will be uh, traded in the platform and, uh, and also use the power of all of our users, right? So we don't want to be the judges judge uh, sitting in the middle because it's very distributed system uh, in all the regions from the world. So what we want every user be the judge and uh, to provide such complaint uh, information to the system and uh, to, to help maintain a healthy <laughs> uh, content uh, environment. Uh, in the, so this, this will also be a very important factor to, to decide the value of your points uh, that can be converted uh, into the future token incentive. Yeah. Nice. And, and, and of course, uh, so we are, we are also thinking, uh, we want to reward uh, our early participants uh, and the loyal uh, users, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, so in the future, uh, well, by default, we will also have a before mainnet, mainnet launch, we, we will, of course, to have a, a certain level of uh, airdrop plan. Uh, so, for example, uh, to our uh, users in the uh, current platform, we will also measure the, the age of the accountant, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe you are the, the, the user of uh, April of uh, 2021, right? So then you are the uh, very early stage user. So of course you will earn more airdrop tokens uh, to 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 well, to represent your status in the whole system, yeah. So we uh, so basically we are we are designing all those uh, uh, incentive plans right now. So in that update, we 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 draw the outlines, uh, the bullets uh, of uh, most um, uh, all the important items over there. So I really encourage our audience to take a look and to see in which part may be best suitable for you, right? To participate and to maximize your well, future incentive. Yeah. Yeah, good. Well, I'll put a link for that front, front and center in the show notes and uh, I hope people check it out. Sure. Okay, thank thank thanks a lot, Brian. Uh, anything else? That's, that's about it, right? Uh, yeah, I think that's... Uh, pretty much for today. So mm -hmm. uh, I, I really encourage people to go through that uh, article. So, so we will keep posting uh, the progress uh, for that. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I think Q2 is a very exciting time because uh, you can see we have uh, several thread going forward in parallel, right? But actually they will become one thread uh, to represent the overall strategy of our Arctic network. So I really encourage people to follow us. And also if uh, people have more thoughts uh, and experience in some parts, I really encourage people to contact me, right? Contact us. So yeah. we really want to build a bigger community. Uh, so I, I really want to people, more people can join us because this is a global distributed organization. Uh, and we want to make sure uh, people from different culture or different region can participate. That will make make the platform more balanced, right? <laughs> more 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 valuable for all type of people, not only for a specific region. Yeah. So I really looking for, forward to that. Yeah. The best way to do that is Telegram. Yeah. So we have a Telegram. We have a Discord. Mm. We have a Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, there's a uh, a lot of channels people can talk talk to us, uh, especially. 
uh, well, te uh, Telegram will be easy to use. It's just like a, a instant messenger system, right? Yeah, so, yeah. but sometimes it's very deep organized. Uh, so, but, but of course we're looking at it every day. Uh, in the Discord, uh, we have, uh, we create a specific channel for the suggestions and the feedback. Okay. So if people are interested, they can drop a message over there. Uh, it will make sure we can we can see it and we don't lose it, right? Yeah, good. Okay, I'll put links for that in the show notes too. Okay, yeah. take care, Brian. Thanks a lot for the information and yeah. I'll see you in a week or two. Yeah, thank you, John. Yeah, okay. see you soon.